As part of his ongoing mission to dissuade Billy City children from a life of crime, Assistant Police Commissioner Howell Gillett and his team escorted a group of promising boys and girls from embattled neighborhoods for a first-hand interaction with the country's Supreme Court. Among other important objectives, the Eastern Division commander wanted to provide them with a non-threatening environment to observe what it is like as a defendant who gets caught up with the law and finds themselves in and out of the courtroom as accused persons. There are 25 kids and they were strategically chosen from different parts of the city to have an impact. We have to show kids right from wrong. So what will occur today, the um, Chief Justice will have breakfast with them in a short while with all of these kids, which is something that doesn't occur every time. But we want to make this an annual, whether we are here as the um, leadership of Belize City or not, we want this to continue on an annual basis. We have to show young people right from wrong. They've seen a lot in the streets, but that is not the right way what they've seen. So we, we, we want them to see what will occur to them if they make the wrong decisions, like some of their friends, some of their neighbors, so they could make the appropriate decisions in the, in the future. If you notice, we have taken kids to the prison for them to see the end state. But this is a process before we reach that end state, and they will go through that today. For this particular sensitization tour, ACP Gillette even convinced Acting Chief Justice Michelle Arana to provide aid in this endeavor. The acting CJ usually keeps a respectful distance from the public and the press, opting only to engage in public comments during the last few ceremonial Supreme Court openings that she presided over. Today, she told us that she can identify with these young students and their struggles. The purpose of today's program is to allow these children to experience a different perspective of the law in Belize. So it is an honor for me to interact with them on this basis. Very often we see young people being dragged before our courts, as you have very rightly said, and this is an opportunity for them to see what it is like. They'll even be experiencing a mock trial where they get to play different roles in the justice system and help them to appreciate and understand what law and order in Belize is all about from an early age. Our hope is to intervene with them at this level so that they have a better understanding and appreciation for the role that we play as judicial officers and the role that attorneys play, that police play, in keeping law and order in Belize. I find it is incumbent upon us as judicial officers, and my, my judges support me in this, to take initiatives like this one that will help to, you know, inspire these children to take a more positive path Okay, they are probably surrounded by a lot of distress and, you know, a lot of crime. We are going to show them, starting today, that there is another way. That they can even study to become lawyers and judges in the future. That is a choice that they have. There is no need for them to be dragged before the courts, you know, as if that is all that they are supposed to be in life. Every one of these children here can become attorneys, judges, or whatever else positive they choose to be in this society. Somebody like me, I grew up on the south side of Belize City. I am, I'm very proud to say that. I grew up in Nielsen Road, okay? So everybody, not because you come from south side or whatever, you're doomed to a certain life of crime. That is not true, okay? You study hard, you apply for your scholarships, you do your best, you listen to your parents and your teachers who care about you and your mentors, and you can make something of yourself. Don't let anybody define you by your race, by your ethnicity, okay? Stand up for who you are, value yourself, love yourself, and you can achieve great things no matter what obstacles are, are against you in this life. The children also had an extended itinerary for the day. They will witness a live case in action. They will also have a mock case where the kids will play different roles to, um, to experience this court system itself. Each of these kids will receive uh, a school bag with um, school supplies. And, and as I said, they were strategically chosen from different parts of the city. So it's a big day for us, for the police department and for the judiciary to come together to partner to have these kids see firsthand. You don't have to rely on what you see on the news. You, you're here now to see I hope that the case that they will see will come to a conclusion today so that they have that experience and go back and tell their peers, their um, parents, 
their teachers of what they've learned. So this is important to us, and as I said, and I don't mind repeating, we want this to be an annual event. I think it yeah, is more better when we grow up, like we will become a liar and people like police and doctor and there. So you know this program right yeah help us a lot with there. So that's all I have to say. Reporting for seven news, Daniel Ortiz.